Hello everybody. Welcome to Tech Tips by Raj Shekhar. Today we are going to see how to install a, a operating system onto a micro SD card or USB. It will remain same for uh, when you are booting for an uh, USB 2. We will be using a Balina Etcher for uh, uh, booting, uh, making a bootable USB drive or a micro SD card. Let's know for Dietway. Uh, Dietway is a custom operating system for single board computers. There are many supported boards in Dietway. Like uh, whenever we want performance over beauty, we can choose Dietway. So Dietway installation is a, a bit complex compared to that of regular Raspbian operating system for Raspberry Pis. Uh, if you are not aware of what is Raspberry Pi, this is a Raspberry Pi, a single board credit card sized computer. Whenever we are uh, running a, a simple process uh, um, which do not need a lot of hardware, then we can use it for general purpose computing too. It is designed so that uh, uh, we can uh, deploy a kiosk or something in our uh, organization uh, without much cost incurring it like uh, if you want a bill printing machine or something we can design everything of that kind uh, using the single board computers Be uh, in order to run this uh, it requires a small sd card which uh, has the operating system we will see how to install operating system onto this uh, single board computers today I am going to show it for Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, but uh, you can install this operating system on any other uh, single board computers, such as uh, mm, uh, Asus uh, Tinker Board or else uh, Nvidia Jetson Nano. These kind of boards are uh, way more powerful and are designed for a different purpose uh, than a uh, uh, project oriented mindset. But however, when you are testing something for the first time, you can use the single board computers and deploy on a uh, very cheaper hardware. Uh, whenever you are deploying onto a production environment. So get, let's get started and uh, we will see step by step how to install DietPy onto a micro SD card using a Linux uh, operating system. But uh, you can uh, do the same process for your Windows uh, machine too. It works on both and the uh, process remains almost same. So don't worry that I'm showing that uh, on a Linux operating system. Let's get started. Uh, launch a browser. Um, okay, first site is dietpy.com. On this site, uh, I'm going to run the uh, Go to whichever board you have. I have Raspberry Pi. In this, uh, I am selecting 64 bit operating system, but you are running a different version of board. Uh, check with the hardware specifications and uh, go through that. Uh, where uh, you need to select a uh, specific hardware architecture based on your board. I have a 64-bit uh, running hardware like Raspberry Pi 3B plus uh, ARM V8 version 64-bit is what I need to download. I have downloaded it. At once after uh, completing it, you need to download another piece of software which is called as Balina Etcher. You can search over Google for Balina Etcher. This is the one site uh, which can provide proper bootable software. Uh, or uh, you have a built-in uh, software in Linux too for creating a startup disks but uh, this is the one I prefer it supports multiple uh, ISO images, uh, dot image formats and everything and it runs on any operating system besides to this Linux uh, you can run it on other operating systems too well go here and select uh, your desired operating system download it I have both of them up and running on my system okay now I need to launch the Balina actually Okay, it is up and running. Well, flash from file, select the ISO image or dot image file which you have downloaded. If you are running an Ubuntu or some other operating system to bootable USB, then you can select that. Elsewhere, uh, you need to select the image which we have downloaded from Dietpy. Okay, ISO image, Dietpy. So I am selecting Bulls I1. I have tried uh, booting LOU GUI made by Dietpy organization, but uh, it didn't work properly. So I am going with Bulls I image. Okay. Open. I have selected this. Now we need to select the hardware, whether it might be a micro SD card or else a USB port. You need to select that. I am uh, selecting my device. Next, you need to press flash. It will ask for password. Enter the password. That's it. Your USB drive will be ready in uh, one or two minutes. You need to wait and see that. 
Once the flashing process completes, you need to remove that uh, micro SD card and insert it into your uh, Raspberry Pi or else uh, USB onto your computer to boot it from your USB or micro SD card depending upon your need. I'm making this video for both uh, Raspberry Pi users and regular people who are want, willing to install operating system onto your system. For the first time, it is a tricky thing. A lot of people don't know how to do that. So this video might help you, saving your time and giving you a lot of opportunity to learn. Okay, done. Now we have completed the bootable uh, micro SD part. Uh, now we need to insert it into Raspberry Pi and boot it. In the next part of the video, you can find the how to configure this uh, Raspberry Pi uh, over SSH or as HDMI or TTL. Uh, I am going to show only one of these methods uh, using RJ45, which is the very most common method of configuring a single board computer. Besides this, there are two other methods uh, which are very easy. Uh, like a HDMI one is a very easy one. TTL is a very rarely used one. Not everyone will have a TTL cable, so I'm not going to cover that. But uh, uh, HDMI is easy to connect. Uh, so whatever uh, wirelessly we are configuring, I will show in the second part of the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more such videos and uh, more knowledge about uh, electronics related subjects.